Hello, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm working on what I call my small mixing bowl. These are just a, a small bowl, and when I sell them, I have a little whisk that I sell with it. My mother used to keep one of these by the, uh, by the stove, and she would mix up a little bit of salad dressing or mix an egg for a scrambled egg or something like that, just for herself. So that's what we're working on, and I've got a little, little over a half a pound here. I'm working with um, speckled brownstone, which is a high water clay. And I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna open it up. I've already kind of centered it before I started the video. I think the most important thing is centering and maintaining the center. get down to the level I want it here and open it up. These are great little pots. They uh, they look good. It's kind of neat just to have one sitting on the counter by the stove. And they're uh, pretty useful too. So I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna pull it in towards the center a little bit because I want it a little fuller on the bottom just to give it a line. It looks better if it's got a little bit of a curve there. And I'm using a sponge to pull it up. I found that it works a lot better. I'm trying to get this clay in the bottom and stretch that up. These aren't very big. So like I said, I'm only using a little over half a pound. And I get those pulled up and then I use my secret weapon. And I have a metal rib that I manufacture well, actually, I have a friend of mine manufacture for me. And I sell them in my Etsy shop, Mudslinger Pottery, dac.etsy.com. And the good thing about these is, is they're thin, so they keep that edge. They're stainless steel. They're not going anywhere. I, they're great for using to lift the, the bat, scraping the bat, and it's going to keep that edge should last a lifetime, unless I don't know what you do with it. It would take a lot to destroy one of these. So I use this to shape. And what's nice about these is they, they basically trim the pot while it's wet on the wheel. A lot better than the wooden ribs I used to use. When I started using these, it just changed my pots. They're thinner, they're more even. They're just plain better pots. So I'm trying to get a little curve here. Even out the pot. There we go. And I like a nice smooth pot, so I, uh, I'll take a red rib, soft, soft rib, and just smooth it out. Get some of the water out of the middle here. So I make a little lip, and that's easy enough to do. I just uh, flip this out a little bit. It's amazing, but just some little shaping will do for a pot. All of a sudden that pot just looks better. And I really haven't done much. Take a chamois. And I use an old photo container to help uh, float it in my water over here. 
something probably a lot of people don't even know what they are anymore. They haven't been around for so long. So the other trick I've got is I've taken a credit card and drilled a hole in the end. So you can see how that is just like a half circle. And I use this to make my foot. Just take it, put it on the foot to clean it up a little bit. And this gives me this nice round foot on the bottom of my pot, which helps mimic the, the curve that's coming up. So last thing is just putting a little, little spout right here, and I just pull that out, and there we go. And then sometimes that pulls it out a little bit and changes the shape. So if I just take a sponge on the inside here, and gently hold it on the on the wall. It helps it helps put it back into round. So there you go. That's a fun little pot. And I really enjoy these because they always remind me of my mother every time I see one or pick one up. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed that. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be adding more pots and more videos as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.